Welcome back and in this GeoGuessr play along video we are gonna play some play along country streaks so you can play them first and then see um, how I do, who does better. The play along links will be in the description of course as always. So no moving, let's do one minute maybe. We can guess faster if we if we if we know where we are. So let's see, let's see. Okay, first thought is Indonesia, these pole tops. Well, we're in Indonesian, we're driving on the left side, we have some front plates. Uh, in Indonesia, the motorcycles will generally have front plates. Um, so yeah, we don't need, don't really need to figure out where in Indonesia we are, just, just that we are there. Uh, we have an antenna, that's the first thing I noticed here. Um, feels kind of Austrian now, what? <laughs> What, what other clues do we have? We do have the blue strip. Got a very bare glass. Gloss. Did, oh, did German have a gloss like that? Gloss. I can't stop thinking that it says Polizei here. <laughs> I might be wrong though. What's the 99? I can't read what it says. It could be German, could be anything really. These... Oh, oh, Danish flag. Oh my god. I would have been so off. I'm glad I noticed the Danish flag at the last second there. Okay, this feels like... Oh, Poland. Okay, Poland makes sense. So I wasn't sure <laughs> what it did feel like. Because with these small dashes, but the dashes didn't look uh, Swedish. But this this green sign. Uh, and Oh, the bollard as well. That's a Polish bollard with that red um, section. So that's Poland. Let's go. Next, next, next. Oh, uh, this looks like um, Ukrainian car with the red tint. In uh, Ukraine and Russia, you see a lot of these yellow gas pipes, I believe those are. So, yeah, Ukraine makes perfect sense. Uh, I imagine it would be maybe kind of southwest. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of southwest ish. Okay, this. Oh, uh, Ireland with this sign. We have some Irish and some English there, I think, on that sign. We are driving the left side, white back plates. Yeah, yeah, let's lock in Ireland. Mm, what is this? Chiso, Chis Chisoda? Is that how you say it? Uh, this would be a Romania, right, with this S letter. These are kind of Argentinian looking poles almost. In Argentina you get similar ones, but, but uh, Strada, Strada is uh, in uh, Romania. Uh, generation 4 as well, these uh, thick holy poles, yeah, a very Romanian location here. Here we have, in, oh that's that Turkish, right? This is, the language looks very, very Turkish, with this I letter, with a dot. In Turkish, uh, Turkish font, they use uh, the I letter, instead of the dot being above I, the I is shorter, if you know what I mean. The I doesn't go above it. all the other letters, it's, the I is just shorter. So that's that's kind of an interesting thing to notice. Um, so yeah, this would be just Turkey. Here, this feels very Colombian, this sign. Um, as you know, in Colombia, you get that Colombian cross. And with these four bolts visible on the sign. Um, yeah, that would be uh, an indication of the Colombian cross on the other side, like this. And of course, the yellow plates, mountains, it's just a very Colombian location again. We haven't had anything too difficult just yet. This feels like um, Singapore, right? Singapore, um, I was thinking, could this ever be southern Malaysia? But I think we have some like a green sign visible there, which you see in uh, Singapore. The Singaporean signs look like that. So let's go Singapore, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Very, very typical looking Singapore there. Ooh, okay, now US or Canada, huh? Dollar general. Well, they use dollars in both countries there. We have front plates. Um, <laughs> I don't know the phone codes. There are way too many to learn, I remember. Check us out on Facebook, tire shop. Oh, speed. Oh, okay. A useful sign. <laughs> useful sign. Well, I'm sure most of you already know, in case you had speed limit, uh, it would be US. If it says maximum, then it's Canada on those signs. Um, so, I'm trying to avoid the car meta, because <laughs> the car meta gives it away immediately. I'm looking for any other clues here that maybe would give it away. 
without the car meta. I don't know. I think I probably would eventually go um, Guatemala just because... Well, first of all, yeah, this is Guatemala car. Uh, the second, it looks quite Mexican. Oh, and I think... I'm pretty sure we had this tower like two or three videos ago as well in Guatemala. Someone left a comment saying, oh, that's the Guatemalan Eiffel Tower. So this is... Might, might be useful to remember. Um, so yeah, that, that would be Guatemala. But also, it look, looked very Mexican, but something felt off. Right, I don't know how to explain it. But I, I think I would have gotten Guatemala without the cars there as well. We have... Oh, I thought it was water at first, but no. Um, Somewhere mountainous. Somewhere mountainous. Um, no Google car visible. And this looks like Generation 4. The sun. Kind of in the middle, really. Can't really tell. Is it north or south? So that doesn't make things any easier. I was thinking something like uh, Croatia. No, not Croatia, sorry, uh, Portugal. I was thinking like Portugal, maybe Spain, maybe Italy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, is that a minaret? Could this be Turkey? Oh, gosh. Let's switch to Turkey, maybe then. I don't think I've ever seen minarets in Portugal. I would have gone Portugal if it wasn't for that minaret. Let's see. Oh, Minaret saves us here. Minaret saves us. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's also like five seconds remaining. So so that was that was huge. So this would be Japan. This would be Japan. Uh, we have these kind of smaller cars driving on the left side, lower camera with the car visible. And uh, of course the language. Uh, again, very, a very typical Japanese location. Most of the locations we're getting today are not too difficult with some exceptions some of these have been quite tricky these signs these street signs you would get in austria in vienna in in particular number 23 was i believe this area well in streaks in country streaks doesn't matter but i believe it should be like somewhere here ish mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so knowing those districts uh, generally doesn't matter too much but if there is a high multiplier could, could uh, in duels it could could uh, could have uh, some benefits of knowing them. We have dot and Z here. We have yellow dashed lines on the outer outside. We are driving on the left side. All good clues about this being New Zealand. So let's go there. What is this now? Is this is this low, low, low camera? Tushgang Geshpert. Well, Tushgang is like going through Geshpert. I'm guessing means. Forbidden, no going through here. Um, <clears throat> so this would be Switzerland. With the low camera, some German. Yep, yep, yep. Let's move on. This, These poles would be Romanian, I believe. In these th thin, holy poles with, with very narrow and uh, long holes. And uh, the language... Yeah, the language does look... Uh, Romanian as well. We have a horse, of course we do. You get a lot of horses in Romania. A lot of them. So yeah, we go Romania here then. Doing pretty well. What's our streak? 17. That's pretty decent streak, I would say. Uh, for me, at least. <laughs> Oftentimes it ends much sooner. Now, would this be um, uh, Bhutan? Would this be Bhutan? Because we get... Mm, I know in Bhutan you get, uh, get kind of like bollards like these... This looks painted, I'm not sure about that. Uh, the car is kind of grey, which uh, you can see in Bhutan as well. And of course, very uh, mountainous with a lot of trees, also uh, common in Bhutan. So, I, I, I'm, I'm leaning Bhutan here. There really isn't too much else to go on here. So let's go with Bhutan. It was, okay, okay, nice. This is again more European. Oh, these look like a Polish bollards. We have that yellow Polish sign in the distance, Polish pedestrian crossing sign. So quite a few, quite a few tips for me to tell you about the green Polish signs. Very Polish, very Polish. Now, okay, Blurmany. <laughs> with the huge blurs, of course, it would be Germany. Generation 2 camera with the circles. So we go Germany. What is this? Egg, big green egg centrum. Dot SK. Okay, Slovakian car. Doesn't mean, I mean, cars travel. We do have Slovakian and Czech bollard. 
so it would be one of the two countries. So I guess I would be leaning more towards Slovakia then. Because, I mean, the car, car says Slovakia. Looking around, I could definitely see this being Slovakia. Slovakia can be quite, quite hilly and mountainous. So, uh, yeah, let's go Slovakia. Let's go, let's go. Now, oh, is this Latvia or... No, this, these bollards would be Lithuanian. These would be Lithuanian bollards. The sign looked quite Latvian, but, but yeah. I mean, Lithuania makes perfect sense as well. Uh, these uh, road markings, uh, kilometer markers in Latvia, they would be parallel to the road. In Lithuania, they are like, like an arrow-shaped, and in Estonia, they are uh, perpendicular to the road. So it's hard to see whether they are arrow-shaped or, or perpendicular, but uh, it's clearly visible it's not Latvia, at least. So yeah, we go Lithuania here. Ooh, very close to Latvia, though. Let's go. Um, now, this feels... What does this feel? Do we have... We do have an antenna, huh? Inter interesting, interesting. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of, kind of mixed feelings here. At first I was thinking maybe Asia. Now I'm thinking maybe Ecuador. I think in, uh, in, in, in like Cambodia the antenna would be different. A little bit. And with these, uh, these fences, these fences would be more common in South America as well. That's the non-meta non clue here that I see. Um, so, uh, maybe could be Colombia, but I'm leaning more towards Ecuador. This would be Brazil, maybe. But I would... Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Ay, 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 ay. Mexico strikes again. Let's go for one more. Let's go for one more um, and then and, and see. If, if I get eliminated in the first location, then, then fine. But let, let's try to kind of speed it up, maybe. Kind of a, a more fast-paced one. Uh, we have an antenna driving the left side. Australia, maybe? Yes, let's go. What do we have here? A lot of uh, bike lanes. These bollards are very similar to the, Bel uh, to the Danish ones, but these ones, I believe, are Belgian. There is a slight difference between Belgian and Danish boards. Also, these poles you wouldn't find in Denmark. Also, that's a very Belgian sign. Nice. Uh, yellow outer lines driving the left side with these uh, rectangular signs. That would be Ireland. In UK, you don't get those yellow outer lines and uh, those rectangular signs. Now, what would this be, huh? I have seen a sign like this before. I don't remember where. I think it says maximum on that sign, right? Because So that would make it Canadian. Also, I felt like this signpost make, feels more Canadian. Let's go Canada. Nice, let's go. What do we have here? Very Asian feeling. I'm thinking Indonesia, maybe, with these poles. Um, white car. I, I I would guess somewhere maybe here. Okay, that island, Lombok. Okay. Now what is this? Uh, in Wien, Vienna. Wait. Okay. Let's just double check. Yeah. 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 Looks German. Now it feels Australian from the first glance. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Long antenna driving left. General like the nature felt very maybe near Brisbane. No, nice. <laughs> nice. Um, what is this? Tilsaug. Uh, I don't know what that language would be. Is that like... Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? White plates. Hmm. What is that language? Tilsaug. I can't read the, read the sign though, unfortunately. That would be helpful, I imagine. Would this be... Feels a little bit hilly, but I'm thinking could this ever be something like... Denmark? I don't know. Do we have some flag posts? I'm thinking this is one of the Nordic countries, but which one? Could this be Norway? Maybe Norway. Oh gosh, it might be Denmark. I don't think it's Sweden or Finland. Oh no. I I'm gonna go no- mm. I'm gonna go Norway. It was Denmark? No! I should have just gone with my first, first thought. I overthought that one. Let me know in the comments how you did in these challenges, and on the right side there will be another Play Along Streaks game where you can play against me more. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, be kind to one another, and see you all in the next video.